Welcome everyone to another episode of Watch and Learn. I'm Kim Sandberg and with me today is Christina Whitney. And today we're going to share some fun experiences we've had and also some fun experiences from recent attendees of Academy 2022. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe below for more great quilting content and ideas. Well, Christina, we just finished like craziness, awesomeness, Amazingness Academy 2022. Yes, it's been a long process. It has. We started planning probably, we actually started last June when yes. we were in the middle of our previous year's Academy. During takedown. So, yep, we came up with our theme mm -hmm. and we've been working on it since then. So today's kind of the, the end of it and yeah. it's a little bittersweet, mm -hmm. but we're already moving forward with next year's. Driving here, we <laughs> actually had many conversations of what we're gonna do different next year, and what we wanna change. And luckily for us, we have a studio, audi studio audience with us. We do. And we're going to kind of get some of their feedback as well. Yep, and we're so excited for this. So Kayla's going to switch over. i got to put her name in this video. <laughs> Should we tell them why? Kayla was the rock star at Academy this year. Every possible AV thing that could go wrong, she was there and she solved those problems. So we really appreciate everything that Kayla does. And I love looking at her blush over there. It's so cute. We, we actually probably should take it back just a step. Mm -hmm. You know me, I always like to take oh, it back I know. to the basics. I know. What's HQ Academy? HQ Academy is a two and a half day long convention that we hold every year at the Davis Conference Center in Layton, Utah. It's about 30 minutes north of here and we take we took 50 machines, we had 24 educators, we had four truck drivers, we had the entire executive team, and um, oh, and the participants. And the participants. We had over 200 participants mm -hmm. there that were eager and ready to learn. Yeah, and it was, it was just such a great experience. So we're really excited this year. We switched things up a little bit, and we made part of the Shop Hop an opportunity to come here and film with us. We, took, we did a quick tour, and now we are going to open up for some questions. So, quilters. If you have a question, go ahead or and raise comments, your hand. As long as they're good. I see no. a hand in the back. Go I ahead. Know. I have two questions. Okay. What are you going to do without Kayla? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cry. I know, every day. And number two, how many employees are there at Hansel? That's a really great question. So including the everyone who works here, which we have some people that actually in the building work for Crafts Group also, I think there's 110 plus. Yeah, I was thinking 150, but that was before yeah. some of the changes. So yeah, yeah, we're right about there. And we also have people that work remotely as well. Yes, we do. So. Quite a few of our um, technical solutions people do. Yep. And the, the yeah. reason that we're sad that Kayla is leaving us is because her husband is military and got transferred. So she's going to be moving and we're super sad, but we're really, really hoping, Kayla, that you'll come back with us next year. I know, I know. Plus, she's moving to Florida, so we've already planned vacations. Like, <laughs> we're gonna go visit whether she wants us there or not. Okay. So, yes, next question. So, how many educators do you have and for the academy? Where did they all come in from? Oh, well, that's a really, really great question. So, we had, including the studio educators, which is a team of four, we had 20, it was either 23 or 24 educators. Yeah. And they came from all, all over, over the U.S. We had some from California all the way over to, what was our far, furthest east we had? Probably North Carolina. We had Kimberly and yeah. um, Iris both from North Carolina. Yeah, so um, it covers the whole country. Yeah, it's all over the U.S., which is really great. It's actually one of our favorite events to do. So we have 30-plus national educators nationwide, and Academy is one of those coveted things that everybody wants to do. Unfortunately, we don't have enough room for everybody, but it's so much fun to come together. We also get the opportunity to learn from each other. It's, it's really fun to go in and see what everyone else is doing with their classes. Get, just, just get excited about teaching all over again. And they rotate also so that mm -hmm. we get different classes each year. Exactly. So it's not always the same thing. Exactly. Do you um, make different programs for us each year? I've noticed one lady had been here nine years, so mm -hmm. it's enjoyable. This is my second year to, to be here, and I learned a lot more this year than I did last year because I was very excited last year. I was excited this year. and uh, But I'm going home to practice lots of lessons that were given to us. So do you 
When do you start planning what programs we're going to be doing? We're already starting. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually discussing it in the car, deciding um, uh, we're already talking about adding some different tracks next year, shaking things up a little. Yeah. Um, and when I said that we kind of uh, rotate the educators around, each year they are given, say, free motion beginner. Mm -hmm. And they're given kind of some bullet points of things that need to be covered in that track, but they each teach things differently. Mm -hmm. So even if you are in the same track, like I know we've had several people that have been in the Pro Stitcher, the next step track a couple of times, it's gonna be different information each year. It was different this year, so. Is that the track you were in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. If we, two questions, mm -hmm. if we have suggestions for what we'd like to see in programs next year, mm -hmm. how do we get those to you? Email hqevents at handyquilter.com. Yep. And we can write that down for you later if you'd like. Yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. when can we register? <laughs> <laughs> well, did you win the early bird prize? <laughs> So we generally have registration around, we're, we're going to be aiming for February, yeah, is that what we're going to do first, this year? First part of February, just like this last yeah. year. And for those that are interested in attending, we will usually have a little bit of hype mm -hmm. ahead of time, mm -hmm. some emails that will be going out, there will be posts on social media, <coughs> so just make sure that you're following that and you'll get the information of when the registration begins. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And remember that registration does go fast. If you do want to register, um, set a timer for the time that registration starts and get online and do it then. And here's a pro tip. Try to do it on a computer and not your phone. Yeah. Yes. We had yes. some issues. Seriously. Okay, I saw another hand. Yes. Um, so before I bought my handy quilter, I did a lot of research mm -hmm. and I kept going back to the handy quilter website. Um, I noticed and I've heard from others that you have retreats. Mm -hmm. So what's the main difference between retreats and academy? Mm. So retreats are a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. We have 19 people maximum per retreat and it's one person per machine. Those are held here in our studio and um, it's the studio educators that teach that. We teach that. Yep. And it's the same curriculum for each one of those retreats. Whereas with academy, again, you get different educators mm -hmm. coming in. So they're gonna be teaching a little bit differently. And it's also really fun to get all of those quilters together. Yeah. So it's a, a larger scale, you get lots of friends. Raise your hand if you met a friend while you were here. Oh, I love that. Okay. That's fantastic. Yes, you make lifelong friends. Yep. Um, and you can't forget the food. Yeah. <laughs> we'll feed you when you're here for retreats also, yeah. but you know, it's not the all you can eat snack raid room. Yeah. We, we, have, we have all you can eat <laughs> snacks, but it's like four selections on what we call the community desk. It's not an entire room. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So. But yeah, that's, that's the biggest difference. I would say 99% of yeah. them. Every once in a while, we'll go out in the field somewhere. Like we recently had an HQ live in my home studio with my daughter. Right. And that was a fun one to mm -hmm. do. But for the most part, they're all done in here. Yeah. You might, uh, just looking around the room, you'll notice that we have different setups. We'll film behind the frame like this. We have a table push it up against the wall over there. We also have a desk over there. We've got a Capri. Um, we have, normally where you all are sitting, we have one of every machine on a frame that we can pull in and use at any time. So it's, uh, it's a fun place to work. Yeah. It's a small studio. space, but mm -hmm. we get a lot accomplished in it. We do, we really so. do. Yeah. Okay, yeah, who else question. wants to be brave? Yes. How long have you two been a team on the Watch and Learn? Since I started. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we've been working together for a little over three years. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. it seems like forever. Forever, <laughs> no. But at no. the same time, it was just yesterday. It was just yesterday. Yeah, we've been working together for three years. Mm -hmm. um, we, when we first started, we, we did HQ Lives. Mm -hmm. At that only. point, that was the only video, and we didn't do very much filming mm -hmm. with that. Maybe once or twice a year, we would be in a video. Yeah. And then COVID hit, and we had all these people buying machines, and they weren't being trained. Yeah. So to kind of compensate for that, everybody else got to work at home. We were all in here trying to film social distancing. I don't know if you guys saw any of the ones where we were in we, bubbles. We, we'd film like this and someone would sit over there on a chair and we'd have the head in the bubble. Yeah, so we, we got really creative, but our mm -hmm. goal was to get that information out there to the, the new owners so that they would be able to have some good success with their machines. Yeah, we started doing a new episode every week 
and we haven't missed a week. But here's the secret. We don't film every week. We'll, we'll come in and we'll have a day where we'll film three or four episodes at a time. So if you watch, we used to, when we first started, we would uh, bring a different shirt to wear for every episode. Now we're like, Psh, yep. four episodes in a row. I don't have that many shirts. So you'll see like over, over like three months, you'll see like the same. You'll be like, oh, those were all filmed on the same day. So you guys now know the secret. Yeah. Um, and we, I don't know, we just kind of fell into doing the majority of the filming, the two of us, especially this last year. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of fun with it, in case you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, filming is one of those things, um, it's kind of like dancing. Mm -hmm. Either you have that chemistry or you don't. And I think that Kim and I have really lucked out that yeah. we have chemistry together, that we are able to film and have fun. Mm -hmm. we, we feed off of each other, mm -hmm. we help each other out. I forget things, she reminds me, yeah. and vice versa. So I think that it's been working pretty well, yeah. I hope. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And we are really good friends too, which I think helps yeah. too. Yeah, definitely. definitely. We've, we've become great friends, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes? Can you tell us what your most embarrassing moment on camera has been? <laughs> I know mine! <laughs> yeah, Christina, why don't you share yours? I'll have to sort through mine. Sheesh. <laughs> Actually, she has, she has the best one. She really does. Okay, so. Tell me when you want me to jump in. Because <laughs> she'll be laughing so hard she can't talk anymore. So I was doing a video on pantographs with Johnny Barfus. Mm -hmm. Have any of you guys seen the ones with Johnny Barfus? Yeah. He's another one that we just had really fun oh, chemistry with. Yeah. He really livened things up in the filming studio. <laughs> but we were doing this filming and we were kind of joking around beforehand and we were coming up with these fantastic titles mm -hmm. for the, the video and we were going to do powerful pantographs and so we start filming and Johnny goes welcome something or another to powerful panties <laughs> and so I'm back there trying to be mature and I am not mature at all when I get on camera and I'm doing this and I'm trying so hard not to lose it because it takes about 30 seconds yeah, and then finally Johnny looked at me, made eye contact, and I completely <laughs> lost it. I was literally on the floor peeing my pants. <laughs> I so. think it took us 10 minutes to like all get control and like be able to reset and keep filming. And they could not make eye contact the rest <laughs> of that filming. And still to this day, yeah. he'll just randomly send me a text, powerful panties. <laughs> So that's kind of our, our fun part. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have to watch the video. Yeah. No, watch the blooper outtakes, yeah. which they actually changed it. So they didn't have the part with Johnny saying powerful panties. They have it with him calling me the pantograph queen <laughs> and then me losing it. I'm like, yeah, it's not the whole story, <laughs> but whole story. now you guys know the whole story. You know the whole story. Okay, I saw another hand on the front yeah. row. Yeah. Yes. Um, how do you decide what you're going to be teaching? <laughs> Whatever comes to our mind. Yeah. But we also, every time I'm, I'm at a show or I'm mm -hmm. talking to people, I say, what do you want to learn? Mm -hmm. What do you want us to do a video on? Mm -hmm. So if you have something that you want to learn about, send us an email, mm -hmm. hqevents at, at handyquilter.com, mm -hmm. and then we'll take that into consideration and see if we can get that on the, the schedule. Yeah. We also uh, pick our video content based on uh, releasing new product. So we get to do the new product videos. Um, we also, depending on, so we also answer phones and answer questions for education. Some of you may have called in and talked to us. If we find that we're starting to get the same question over and over again, we're like, let's do a video on that so yeah. we can do an explanation. If nothing else, so that when somebody calls in, we can refer them to the video because it's great to talk to somebody on the phone about it, but I don't know about you guys. Being quilters, I feel like we're really visual and it's sometimes, it's not sometimes, usually it's easier to actually show you and not try to explain it over the phone. Yeah. So those are things that drive us. Yeah. Do you test new product or do you mm -hmm. have another group that does the testing and the testing? Yes and yes. So there is, we have a department that is dedicated testers and that's all they do is they do testing. But the education department does get sent products and asked because we're experienced quilters to try it out and give them a thumbs up or thumbs down and you know, 
Oh, actually, we want it to be a little more like this. We don't always get what we want. <laughs> we just want you to know. But we do, and it's it's really fun, yeah. actually. Testing's a lot of fun. We have we have fun with it. We, we're definitely more involved in the final product and not so much in the process along the way. So, yeah. that's a great question. Yeah. I just have a question, and I have a comment. Okay. okay. I bought a used Revlon paint mm -hmm. and don't know anything about it or the brand or anything. And so we were hauling it home on a trailer, and some of the screws fell out. Oh. Vibration, you know. And we called customer service here. Whoever answered that phone was absolutely the best ever. Oh. She did not make us feel dumb. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was not unusual, but she did really, really well and got us our parts, and they were a really reasonable price, and might be cheap there. That's fantastic. So it was a really good experience. Good. Speaking yeah. of experiences, mm -hmm. <laughs> we would love to hear from all of you, yeah. or a few of you, um, about your academy experience. So think about talking to somebody that's never experienced academy. What would you tell them? Well, Who wants to go first? One at a time, raising your hand. Positive, because that would just eliminate spaces for us in academy. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Okay, if you can raise your hand, we'll call on a person at a time. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was very apprehensive that I said, I said to Chris, which was the next step, should mm -hmm. I really do this? And, and everybody makes you feel so at ease. It okay. was wonderful. So I'm Great. So glad That's Good. fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask questions because mm -hmm. you're just letting them learn. Yeah. And be prepared to have your mind blown. <laughs> 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 I love that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm surprised that nobody advised that you bring stretchy pants. <laughs> so, anything else that you want to share about your experience with Handy Quilter or with um, Academy? I like that everybody that I talked to, they didn't have to go to somebody else to find the answer. They all know a lot about everything. And so, no matter who it is you ask, they have something they can tell you. Excellent. That's great. I yeah. found that it was really delightful to have teachers that would tell you what was going on, but then would allow people out of the audience to express it what oh. they had learned. And that, I learned just as much from the other students as I did from the teachers. I think just listening to yeah. experiences. Oh, that's great. Good. Yeah. In the back. I tried to teach myself um, free motion, and that was a failure. <laughs> And I finally took the quilt, I had a, an old quilt, finally took it off and I said, oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. And then when the academy came up and, and I came to the class, I was very apprehensive to do free motion. Mm -hmm. But now I feel, I feel so good that I have the confidence to know where to start mm -hmm. because I'm just new. Where do you start learning? Yeah. How do you start learning? Mm -hmm. And all of that was covered. It was just absolutely marvelous. I just, I'm, I'm so glad I came. And you've got to, this is my first time. And so I will be here next year. <laughs> Perfect. I wasn't really sure what to expect, except that I did expect to get some really good education. On, and I took the free motion basic class as well. And I really, am so happy with everything that I learned. I feel so much more confident to go home and actually try some things, like even feathers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so many resource, resources that they're sending home with us mm -hmm. to, to look at and, and process when I get home and I'm not overwhelmed as much. That's That's great. Fantastic. It's very yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. I think Academy builds confidence. It yes. does. It's so, you come in in that first day, you're like, I'm never going to get this. And then by the third day, we're rock stars. So. <laughs> okay, that's going to be our slogan for next year. Yeah. <laughs> by the third day, you're a rock star. <laughs> Perfect. It's great to reconnect with old friends from last year yeah. and make new friends. Yeah. 
So in the last two groups, we asked them, who here made a friend at Academy? And they raised their hands. Everybody so raised in their this hands, group. yeah, same thing. Okay, so yes, making new friends, meeting up with your previous friends, good, good, good stuff. Finding people that have as many sewing machines and as much fabric as you do, <laughs> and they don't think it's weird, <laughs> right? So I was here nine years ago, oh, um, wow. not at Academy, but I was here um, at like a retreat mm -hmm. or an event. I hadn't had my pro stitcher, I mean my long arm for very long, and I met a friend of mine, and I met, well, and, and she introduced me to another lady there, and we have stayed in touch, and it's been nine years, cool. and Tina and I came together last year, and again this year, we roomed together, and like, you know, these friendships last a long mm -hmm. time, so, yep. so, it's fun, it's great. That's cool. I love how excited all of you guys are, and that gets us all up and ready to, <laughs> to learn, and, and everybody just has such an awesome attitude. It gives From you the educators to, you know, us, you know, beginners and, and stuff, everybody gets excited. I think it gives you motivation to go back home for those of us that mm. have been overwhelmed by the machine. It gives you a little bit, it breaks down those barriers. It's a very safe place to be oh. in far as learning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because you walk in and this is my second year. The first year I was like, oh my gosh, I'll never be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. They're just going to look at me and laugh mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. thing. And you find you're all on common ground yeah. and very safe. It's safe to make mistakes and you're encouraged to move on. I always tell the students when they're at an event like this, mm -hmm. making the mistake, that is the best place and time to make those mistakes. You want to do those mistakes so that you can learn and to grow so that when you do go back home and you make that mistake again, you know how to fix it. So definitely safe like, place. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I think another thing I like is, is even if the educators were not able to completely like I could have spent all day long on some of these to mm. topics. So even if they couldn't get through as much as I would have liked, the the paper uh, the paperwork the handouts are so detailed that I'm like, okay, well if we didn't cover everything, I still have the information that I need mm -hmm. to go home and work through this. <coughs> and all of them gave their you know their email. Here's how you contact me. Mm -hmm. Be sure and and ask questions. Mm -hmm. And so I feel kind of like. I can continue my education even though I have to go home. So it's, I really appreciate that part of it. Thank you. One of the things I really liked was that it, there's not necessarily a wrong answer, there's just different ways to get to the right answer. <laughs> it's a and we can experiment our way into mm -hmm. multiple right answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool just to have more tools. Yeah. So do you guys feel empowered? Yes. 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 Are you ready to go home and learn some more yeah. stuff? Yeah. Well, can and we stay longer? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can stay till about six six thirty. Yeah. <laughs> we we got to be out of yeah. We got to get out here at a certain time. Our bus driver has to be back yeah. by seven. So. That's right. That's right. The big bus driver. No. Yeah. So, any other thoughts on Academy that you'd like to share with us, or other questions you have for us? Mm -hmm. um, well, this is a little bit different. Okay. I've, okay. Only, I've been twice. Okay. And one thing that I have particularly enjoyed both times is the speaker mm, yeah. good I came yeah. last year i'm and glad to hear Potter, that and yeah he did an amazing thing just about the creative process and then this year the gal with the incredible knowledge about textiles i, I thought both times that was really really fantastic mm -hmm. really thank you can i tell you a little side story because yeah. i never squirrel never mm -hmm. so ben behunnen that we had last year i went to his studio back in april and it's just in his garage like in the middle of a residential area, but yeah. it is fantastic. Like and I went in and um, I went upstairs, and he has his giant scissors that he got as his oh. gift mounted oh. up oh. on the wall oh. in the studio. Oh. I was like, I bought so I know. much pottery from him last year. I know. I pay hundred dollars extra for my suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Oh, we just had our cars driving like this on the way home because we had so much in the back. Yeah, fun yeah. Stuff. Christina yeah. saw that and she sent me a text. She's like, Look what I just found at Ben's place so awesome yeah it was well I'm glad to hear that because we <coughs> definitely work really hard to try to find um, a keynote speaker that will be interesting 
And you know, <coughs> we, we try to find somebody who isn't necessarily more long arm quilting. Yeah, I, so I love that. We wanted to hear from you guys, so it's been Absolutely. great. Thank you. Okay, so do we want to do an... Yeah, I'm gonna say last call. Outro. No, no more questions? Nobody okay. that's too shy to ask on camera. All right, well, we can do an outro. Okay. Did I, who was hosting? You were hosting. I was hosting, okay, all right. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us for this very special Watch and Learn. Be sure to give us a subscribe and like, and have fun quilting.